Hello everyone. Now we will see another concept of JMeter that is uh, how to add SOAP web service and how to enable the SOAP action in our web service. So this is our sample test plan and we will have to use a free SOAP web service that is available on the net. So let's go to Google and search for the free web service that is readily available. We are going to use the global weather web service listed here. So if you click on this web service, we get this page and there are certain requests listed over here. That is a SOAP 1.1 request and SOAP 1.2 requests. Now we are going to use, we are going to go ahead with SOAP 1.1 request. And uh, if you look into here, uh, look into this, what this gives you is the city name and the country name. Uh, city name and the country name are passed as parameters and it will give you the entire uh, weather forecast for these uh, city names and country names, city names inside the country names. So we will go ahead with this and uh, we, we are going to explore in this session how we are uh, going to extract the cities in a particular country. So this we have already checked in the first uh, session. So we will go ahead and uh, check for the cities in a particular country now. So what we are required to do is listed over here. We have a SOAP XML RPC request. The URL that we are going to use is this one. And we are going to use a send SOAP action request. So our URL is this the http www.webservicex.net slash get cities by country now we go back again to our now i will show you how this works so for that we need to go uh, to the uh, this this particular link is nothing but the uh, endpoint url and this endpoint URL is required when uh, I, I will show you when the time comes. So you click here, get cities by country. That's what we are required to do. If we list as India over here and we say invoke, you will get all the cities in India. For example, say you need to know the cities in USA. So you type United States. click invoke so you get the cities of United States so this is what we are going to simulate now through JMeter so in JMeter you need to create a test plan first that I have already created and you need a thread group so right click add a thread group Initially, we will keep the number of threads as 1, the ramp up period as 1, the loop count as 1. Now we are going to add a SOAP XML RPC request over here. So here you can see our SOAP XML RPC request is listed. Now we go to the internal details of the SOAP XML RPC request. For that, I have already listed down the details here. What we need is a URL. The endpoint URL we saw already. If you go here, you will get what is called as the endpoint URL. This is our endpoint URL. So we copy this and we paste it in our request. So this goes in the URL section. This goes in the URL section. Put it over here. And now we select this. In the last session, we saw that we deselected this and ran the request. This time, we are going to select it and run the request. So, for the send SOAP action, we have this. Because if you go and look into the site, it will tell you the details. What do we need to do? See. 
see if you if you notice here the soap action is this www.webservicex.net slash get cities by country so that's what we are going to put in our request that's it and now we have already checked this one and we will enter the soap xml rpc data now our soap xml rpc data is what i already shown you here the soap xml rpc data is extracted from here the soap 1.1 data that is listed over here it says this uh, we have to capture the data from soap envelope starting from soap envelope till the tag ends so we capture this entire data and that is what is listed over here and in the country name which is the parameter we put india so that's it now we add our listeners and we run the test add listeners at the test plan level i have not added view results in tree because it consumes a lot of memory we will see what happens now with just one uh one uh, user in the thread group with one just thread and ramp up period is one loop count is one so we have put simple things to start with then we will increase the users and check first we will check the scenario whether it is working fine or not so we say start okay it, it's asking me to save the test plan first this is send so action so it's executing now there you go it has passed let's do one thing uh, since we have just one user we can also add the view results in tree now just go ahead remove the old ones and run it again it has passed so now the advantage of using view results in tree is we can view the sampler result we can view the request and the response data so here you can see that the response code is 200 the response message is okay let's go ahead and see what we have in the request in the request we have the original soap request that we passed with the country as india and in the response data we have all the cities in india check the cities properly see ahmedabad akola aurangabad bombay bilaspur so on and so forth so this is how you execute a soap xml rpc request giving the send soap action field as enabled now we will disable the view results tree and run it for more users we know this request is working now so we just run it for more users and check the performance 
go to thread group increase the number of users as 10 and then uh, we can add another listener so that it will help us in analyzing we can add aggregate report listener So now we will check it again. This time we are doing it for 10 users. I have triggered the request. See, for 10 users, the SOAP XML RPC request is failing at some points. Here, here, here. Let's try it for 9 users and see whether we are getting the same response or not. So we need to inform this to the development team that this SOAP XML RPC request is failing for 10 users in the system simultaneously logging in. We will just try it for 9 users and then we will go to our next topic. Clear it. Run it. Yeah, it's failing. So we need to inform this whereas uh, we saw earlier that the REST API was passing for the 10 users also the uh, SOAP XML RPC request was passing without giving the SOAP action. So in case of giving the SOAP action we are having failures and this needs to be escalated to the program team. So that's all in this uh, session. Thank you very much.